Look at this snake right here. This is an amazing animal. And the way it moves, it actually goes and strikes like this. It's absolutely incredible. And this is actually like a mimicry animal. I mean, wow, look at that snake. That is absolutely amazing. This is an African egg-eating snake right here. And I tell you what, it's mimicking an amazing snake that I'm gonna show you a little bit later in this vlog. And it is the worst bite of any venomous snake you could ever imagine. But this little monkey here, who doggy, that is cool as could be. I'm snake. This room has been dark for three months. It's the Colubrid Brumation Room, but it's about to change. That's right, Colubrids are out of brumation, and Jimmy is back. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? I'm snake. Jimmy is definitely a hyper snake, and right out of brumation, it seems to not be happy with, what are you doing, Jimmy? I told you, I missed Jimmy for three months. It was actually sleeping, and now that it's awake, I think Jimmy's happy to see me. Aren't you happy to see me, buddy? Okay, don't play. Ow! Jimmy's not so happy to see me. Okay, you're going back here. All right, Jimmy, tell you what, Jimmy was absolutely hyped up today. He's excited, as excited as I am. Things are out of brumation, which means that we're about to get into the the breeding season and there are some ripper snakes take a look at this animal right here this is actually a south american tri-colored hognose snake and we haven't produced these guys in about 10 years and we finally have a group of animals up to size that are absolutely incredible matter of fact look at this female right here shed out now this shed probably doesn't really mean a whole lot because what ends up happening is that after they're out of brumation for two to three weeks they'll go through a post hibernation shed which is basically a follicle type of shed and this thing will start to grow follicles and eggs so we will take this shed out right here throw this over my shoulder. This is what they call a zigzag tricolored hognose. Absolutely incredible. Look at this monkey right here. The one thing I will tell you about colubrids when they come out of brumation and you first start handling them, they must. Ooh, doggy, Jimmy got me. He not only bit me, but he must me too. This is actually a gray banded king snake. And we have some other adults up to size. This is a new male that's just enough to breed. I am so excited about getting into the breeding season, getting eggs and stuff like that. And we talked about mimicry with that egg eating snake. Now milk snakes will actually do a mimicry thing that is like a coral snake, right? That's actually a venomous snake. And these guys actually mimic them, right? Now, the difference is, of course, is that the saying is red next to yellow is a deadly fellow. Red next to black is a friend of Jack's. Now, there's a bunch of variations of that saying, but you can see here, red next to black means a friend of Jack. So milk snakes are actually not venomous, obviously. When you get to red next to yellow, that can be a venomous snake. But the truth is, even that's a little bit misleading because there are some venomous snakes that have red next to black. So my opinion to you is, hey, if you see a snake like this, probably stay away from it in the wild. And it's as far as all these amazing animals coming out of brumation, what's the next steps? Now that the lights are on in here, it's time to warm this place up and start feeding the colubrids. Yeah. He's a snake. Hey Mike, before you start getting going, can we do the gators? Do you know about gators? Do you know that you're cleaning them? Yeah. Why do you have that smoke in your hand when you're supposed to be cleaning gators? It's gonna feed these guys first. What's that knife for? Did you try to threaten me? Driver did too. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> listen, listen, if you don't mind, could you please clean the gators? Those ones? Those ones. Do you want to feed the tortoises? Yeah, I'll feed the tortoises. Sounds fun. Let's go. Go clean the gators. <laughs> Ryan, what are you doing, bro? Animals are easy to handle, but vegetables are very difficult. Jesus. I carried that all the way from BHB without dropping a single leaf. It's all right. You're gonna over here and drop everything. I'm okay. This year's especially exciting because I'm taking over Colubra breeding. That is right. You know, Brian, it's about time you actually did some work around here. Things like this Mexican black king snake. I'm the one that's gonna be breeding them this year. I'm excited about it. I used to breed all the Colubras for years and years and years, but the last four or five years, Lori has been doing it. And I'll tell you what, she just didn't do a good enough job, so I fired her. That's not actually the truth. The truth is, is that she's just gonna be busy doing other things. I wish she would actually be doing it because she does an amazing job breeding Colubras, but I'm excited for the opportunity to spend more time with these animals and actually get through the season. It is so exciting. Breeding season for Kluvers is literally a couple weeks away. Woo! I'm a slippery setting snake. Well, another water feature, another issue. There's no doubt about that. What am I thinking about doing an entire aquarium? It seems like every time we have a water feature, something goes wrong. This pipe actually popped out right here. This is all set here. So what I have to do is drain the entire pond, let it dry for enough, and I'm gonna have to re-glue this piece on so that the pump actually works because that's what runs the filter and the waterfall. So uh, let's get to work. So after the pond was actually drained, all I have to do is glue this connection right here. We have to prime it and glue it. Now we have to just let it sit and actually dry for a little bit. We'll probably let it dry for the next, you know, eight to 10 hours, and then we can actually fill this up and hopefully we fix the problem with the filtration. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys don't realize that I was doing work for years and years and years without an employee. So for some reason, my crew is always thinking that I'm incapable of doing things. 
Yeah, I'm a capable person. I don't know what Mike is always complaining about. I'll be honest with you, this is actually really peaceful. No, 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 no. Oh man, how did I get stuck doing this? Just to sit here and kind of chill out with the tortoises. Throw some food to Matilda. She loves sweet potatoes. There you go, girl. Oh, she's right on him. She's like, yes, crunching right through it. Again, I don't know what the problem is. I mean, this is super easy. And by the way, super quick. I think that Mike usually takes like a half hour, 45 minutes every day doing this. I'm gonna take about five minutes. So I'm gonna have to start uh, docking his pay if that's not true. But I will tell him to speed it up a little bit. Doing the weirdest things all the time. Now I'm in an alligator enclosure. This is baloney. Oh, salty. No. Oh, go that way. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come. No, no, no. Man, oh man, oh man. Alligators jumping all around. This is ridiculous. Hands are falling down. All right, put it over. That's fine. Don't wait on that. Oh, on his leg. You are in a Boy Scout, were you? <laughs> what is going on, dude? Samurai. Salty, no. Bad alligator, but alligator. That there is the Albana alligator. Spider. Salty, no. Mm. Ooh, hi, Salty. How you doing? No, Salty. Bad alligator. Pass my hand. Don't do it. That was the close one. Did you? <laughs> Salty, bad alligator. Come on. Close your eyes. Back it up. Back it up. Pepper's freaking out now. This is gonna end bad. No, salty. Woo! Alligator's getting crazy. He just splashed the clean glass. Oh man. Time to get the Time to get the pondo back. Don't eat the boot. Don't eat the boot. <laughs> It's hot, I know this guy looks a lot like the egg eating snake that we just showed you, but I can assure you it's not. This is actually a sauce kale viper. And Bruce, you just got this animal? He actually was surrendered to me. Uh, I, somebody actually didn't fully know, understand what, the, what they had. This is probably one of the most dangerous snakes that we've ever had here at the Reptarium. Sauce scale vipers are called sauce scale vipers because they have layer of skin that they rub together as a defense. Almost sounds like sandpaper. And that's hence the name sauce scale viper. Now these guys have nasty venom. They have neurotoxin. They have cytotoxin and they have cardiotoxin and they have hematoxin. And these guys account for some of the most snake bites, all of the snakes in India and Southeast Asia. And when these guys bite you, you can literally bleed from all orifices. One of the most painful and nasty bites you can possibly get. So I know you're being really safe with this Absolutely. guy. Absolutely. For a little guy, he packs a punch and I don't want to take that to the chin. You know what I'm saying? No, I tell you what, this animal out of every venomous snake I've ever worked with, this is the animal I never want to get bit by. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get bit by any venomous snake, but the saw scale vipers, they literally send chills up my spine because this animal gets you and oh my god definitely not in good shape and unfortunately these are in parts of the world where there's not really great medical care so oftentimes they have a lot of fatalities when it comes to snakes very nasty venom but an absolutely gorgeous snake just look at that animal and again isn't it amazing that it looks so much like the african egg eating snake this is actually an adult that we're playing with right here it's a little boy that from my understanding i think he's a boy they don't get much bigger than this brian there are locales like the luco gas and the pyramidum that are from Egypt and parts of Northern Africa that are get a little bit bigger than this guy. But as far as they go, like, I mean, like you, you walk, you're walking across a desert barefoot with rocks all over the place. There's no way you're seeing this guy and no. he's going to get you every time. Exactly. Just accidentally, they're ambush hunters. So you step near it, wham, they're going to hit you. <laughs> wow, I tell you what, not a good thing to have happen. That snake is absolutely amazing but certainly one you don't want to muck with. Make sure you go over to reptilearmy.com if you want to get some really cool merch. I really do appreciate it. And right now I'm going to be picking one old subscriber and a new subscriber every single week to send you guys a little care package from reptilearmy.com. Oh, and by the way, Mike, we're going to have to get salt and pepper out of the enclosure while you're cleaning so when you're draining, they're not in the way. Put them out, and, but don't stop cleaning, okay? Both of them? Both of them. Jeez. Yeah, you. I've never even touched pepper. Now they want me to just, just grab her out, you know? Ooh, pepper. Ah. Okay. <laughs> That's poop water. Why? Why does it gotta be here? Is that not gonna take her to that side? Ah, pepper. Oh, crap. Do I have to do this? Ooh, ooh. I did it. I can work again, Julian. Just saying. 
So we're filling the pond up after kind of redoing the plumbing down below. This is the moment of truth. Let's hope that this works. Not sure. The water there. The water reservoir actually has to fill up, so that's gonna take a little time. But I do see that the water flow is a little bit different than it was. But we'll see what happens. Looks like everything's stuck together, and all we just gotta wait to make sure the filtration works, and then hopefully this sucker will be okay. I'm a snake. Stay. I'm gonna check on your sister. Girl, stay there. Jay. Yo, what's good, bro? I need your help. I got an alligator shit and I gotta clean the, the, the cake. No, I can't, dude. I'm like way too busy. I got so much editing to do. What do you mean you're busy editing? Hey, Lori. Don't get mad. I'm so sorry, but uh, can you help me alligator shit? I don't have time to help you with that. How can you be so much busier than me? Hey, Beth, can you uh, come over to the reptilian and buy salt and pepper cake? Oh, hey, Beth. Yeah. What, alligator shit? No! Hell no! I'm not. No! I can feel what you're gonna do. Stay there. I'll WWD you, you know? Dude! What's up, man? Where have you been? I've been back here cleaning. It's hot. I'm sweaty. I got alligators on the floor. I got no one to babysit. Well, gator shit. Number one, he's not real. This is the only clothes that he's cleaning today. Need a hand or something? Is that where you try to get at? I need some gator shit to do for Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever you want to do, stay. I like a big douche. It's just gonna be good. Ooh! <laughs> the tail out the butt is just too fing much. Are you done? It's not done yet. I thought that was the easy one. She's just a little ordinary because they got all of them teeth and no toothbrush. Yeah, let's go get pepper. Oh my god, look at that. Oh! Come here. Come here. Oh, Peppa got some spice to her. Pepper, you're such a good girl. So that was the first time ever I've ever, ever, ever seen salt go back worse than pepper. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs>